I love it when I just get in the car and start to drive and my gas light just all of a sudden decides to turn on. That's lovely. Hi friends. So this vlog that you are about to watch is just chaotic. I promise you, I don't know what all is going in it, what all isn't going in it. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a mess. I think it spans over several days. I think it spans over several situations. And basically it's my way of sneaking back into making videos without making anything, even though me prefacing the video is already making it a thing. I don't know what you're about to see, but um, be warned, be prepared. Buckle up, good luck, Chuck, subscribe! Wow, it has been a really long time since I have vlogged. Ah, and the sun is blinding me. Ooh! Or I can just drive with my eyes closed. So how you guys been? What you guys up to? Um, it's been a really long time since I've vlogged. And it sucks because I got super duper consistent and I had all these videos that I filmed and I was editing and I was posting regularly and I was doing so good. And then like shit hit the fan and everything got messy. I wanna kinda go into detail as to why I disappeared, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that in this vlog or like right now. Right now I'm on my way to the hospital because I had an accident and had to get stitches the other day. Um, yeah, and so they were supposed to be removed yesterday, but I forgot. And then I thought, oh, I'll just cut them out myself. Yeah, I don't have sharp enough scissors. I need like hair scissors. I only have like the Fisher's um, or Fiskers, Fisher's, Fiskers uh, sewing scissors. And then I also have, I tried with nail clippers. And yes, everything was sanitized, but I can't cut out my own stitches and um, probably shouldn't cut out my own stitches anyhow. I'm gonna go get stitches removed and I'll be right back. Alright, so they got the stitches out. I mean, she said they look really good, but she was concerned because they're pink. I hate these hospital bands. But so, ow, I just popped my wrist. So, I have to go get um, an antibiotic now because she doesn't want me to get an infection. So, yay! But I am going to have to finish vlogging and tell you guys what's been going on later because my phone's about to die. But yeah, it was nice um, talking to y'all and thanks for coming along for the experience and I'll see you tomorrow. It's been a couple days again since I have vlogged. It's so beautiful outside. Like spring has finally sprung in Indiana. The grass is already like thick. I've already seen a couple people mowing. But I don't think it ever really fully died during the winter. But it is really, really, really pretty outside. I'm trying to convince myself to go on a walk, but yeah, I don't know. I love spring. I love how everything's coming back to life and the colors and everything else. Oh, there's my son. He's going to work and he has to take himself to work, but he's he's got a skateboard. I'm not really sure why he's walking with a skateboard when he has a skateboard to help him like go somewhere. I don't know like what my problem is, but I am seriously the worst parker ever. I should be banned from parking. Good morning. It is now April 10th and I only know date because I'm getting two packages today. You guys are crooked again as always. Is it a vlog though if you're not crooked? I don't think so. I'm so tired. It's 8.30. Gavin had an appointment. So if you don't know, Gavin just turned 18. Um, I guess not last month. The month before last. And so he's like all of a sudden like grown and independent. 
blah, 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 blah. All the things that he likes to think are true, but like are not true. So as a parent of an 18 year old, all of a sudden I lose all access to him medically. Like I probably can make a video just on this. It's so stupid to me because one, he's still in high school and two, I'm still financially and emotionally, mentally, everything like responsible for him. I need to let him grow up. Like he needs to start taking responsibility for himself, such as like going to the dentist and going to see a doctor. But like, I can't, there's no period of transition. This is what's frustrating. He goes to therapy. I call and I just want to make sure, you know, I can't find the paper that's got his list of appointments that are scheduled and I call just so I can double check like his next appointment time. Oh, we can't give you that information. I'm like, seriously, like he was 17 when we made the appointments. I'm just making sure that he has an appointment today. Can you just tell me yes or no? No, they can't. They can't tell you yes or no if, you're, if your son that you're still raising and taking care of and taking to school and going to their games and paying for their fees and feeding and all these other things, they can't tell you if you've scheduled an appointment or not. I, I mean, it's not like he all of a sudden like overnight like blossomed into this like super mature, responsible person. I wasn't like, hey, you're 17 years old, call the doctor and set up your own appointment. Cause he's, he can't, he legally can't set up his own appointment because he's a minor. So it's not like we had practice. He was going to see a pediatrician. And once he turned 18, like the day he turns 18, he's no longer allowed at that pediatrician, uh, the pediatrics off office, which is fine. I understand he's an adult, but you can't set up any kind of like transfer. You can't call an adult clinic and say, hey, I need to schedule an appointment. Cause they're like, well, he's not, you can call when he's 18. Well, you actually can't call when he's 18. I can't take him to see the pediatrician to have them do a referral or a transfer because he's no longer 18. So yeah, so just be warned that if you're the parent of somebody who's going to be 18, well, I mean, everybody's gonna be the parent of somebody who's gonna be 18. Uh, but just be warned, holy cow, that's a long line. A lot of people need their coffee this morning. You know what, I'm gonna wait in it because I need my coffee this morning. Wow, I am off of the road, but coffee is really important and it matters. So that's how my day's been going so far. I really honestly don't know why I'm talking about it. I don't really have anything else to talk about. <sighs> yeah, if you guys are having children or thinking about having children, seriously, stop, pause, <laughs> consider the fact that one day they're gonna be adults. And even though like you're technically not responsible for them, like you, you still are. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. And then to top it off, with him turning 18, I'm also turning 37. And, well, I just turned 37. And I am not handling that well. Because to me, that is literally midlife crisis. I have reached, like, the middle point of life expectancy. I think female life expectancy is 74. Maybe that's male life expectancy. I don't know. But... I feel like I'm seriously having a midlife crisis and I'm falling apart at the same time that my son is turning into an adult. Right, there you go. Have Thank a good day. you. Thanks, you too. All right, I at least got my coffee, so that's gonna make everything better. Although, I wanna go back to bed and drink my coffee from bed. Still be wide awake, but at least comfortably snuggled up as a burrito in my bed. Hey you guys. Um, I don't have anything important to post. Um, I don't have anything positive to post, which I hate because I really want my channel, um, my social media influence to be really positive. I hate when I'm negative.
I am a train wreck. This week, I've realized that I'm not a great person. Um, sometimes I'm an awful person. I feel unhealthy. My, I just got a, my battery is below 15%, so it's going to die. Um, if you heard that noise, Rogue just jumped on our toilet and she's off of her toilet. Rogie, come here, baby. Come here, honey. Say hi to everybody. Oh, I know. Oh, hi. Hi. I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry that I have not felt creative or motivated to make like a good video. I know that you guys want one and you guys are deserving of a good video. I've let my 18 year old son down massively. I've let my husband down massively. Both are too kind, too sweet, and too amazing to ever actually admit it. Um, I quit my job. For YouTube and then I kind of paused on YouTube to go through the emotions of quitting my job so it makes me feel like I quit my job and I quit YouTube I'm struggling oddly not with my weight necessarily because it's going down which probably not a great sign but it's not like i'm like relapsing or anything i'm gonna end this here sorry that this one is so depressing um welcome to vlogging with mental illness oh you can see my puppy dude's back on the couch yeah i haven't vlogged for a couple of days and so i miss you guys um, I have my cat ears on because I'm about to go do my makeup. However, I'm not going to take you guys with me because I'm getting new makeup today, hopefully. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to mess it up. I always mess up palettes as soon as I get them. I get them and I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to put all the colors on my face. And I do. And then I look like Mimi off of the Drew Carey show. And I don't want to do that on camera and have that like recorded. Can you say hi? Hi, I know you're so pretty. Okay, so the one in the front is Zelda and the one in the back is Curious George. Can you guys be done? Please? Yeah, I know, you're bigger. What are you doing? Do you just want to be on camera? Huh? Do you just want to be on camera? Yeah. Who's that handsome guy? Who's that handsome guy? That's you, Curious. That's you. Can you, can you say please? Good boy. Good boy. I taught them to bow their heads to say please. They were um, abused. I don't know exactly how old they are. We've had them for six years. Oh, look at you, pretty girl. Hi. Hi. I'll have to get you guys out later so you can play. I have to put up the kitties first. I know. I know. You're such a ham, too. You're such a ham, too. Zelda, can you say please? Can you say please? Oh no, you're checking yourself out. Who is that? Who is she? Oh. Okay, well I thought this vlog was gonna be really boring, but evidently my cockatiels are in it and they're fascinating. So they're the ones making the show, right? I love them so much. I know they don't look like they have many toys, but they tear up all of their toys or shredders. Some birds like to actually like do puzzles and things. They just like to chew on things and rip things to pieces. So yeah, we have to replace their toys like every week. Um, 
But yeah, all right, well, I will check back in with you guys later. Welcome to the end of the vlog. This is now my outro, even though I still don't know what all I put in the vlog. I will try so much harder to post more regularly and not disappear again, not making any promises because, well, I break promises. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. So please make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on your notifications.